Hey guys, and welcome to the Mobile Geeks Mobility Podcast. This is Don Dahlman. Hi, and this is Nicole Scott. And we're back again to talk about the range on the Audi e-tron, because we made a video and the results were polarizing oh, yeah. about how Audi should be calculating the range of the of the car. And we seem to be uh, have hit the nerve. We uh, definitely advance. we definitely hit a nerve because at CES I can't even count the number of car companies that approached me when I was at their booth going, "Hey, hey, I watched your video with Don." I was like, "Which one?" <laughs> <laughs> The one with the range. Yeah, the one with the range. What? That was that was the that was the one, and uh, the results are fifty fifty. We have a poll on Mobile Geeks. I think it was like forty three percent in in uh, favor of the drive style, yeah. and like which is basically to me fifty fifty. Yeah, yeah, marginal yeah. area. Now I drove the Hyundai Econa uh, part of the way. I didn't do the whole trip, but from uh, Las Vegas, or La- Los Angeles to Las Vegas, yeah. and part of the reason why I bailed was because, well, A, another friend of mine was driving a gas car, and I wanted to go to Ghost Town. And the, we, the, I, the Icona had to stop and charge. Sure. So instead of waiting by the car, I went in the petrol car and went to Ghost Town. <laughs> I'm like, that's not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> that's not how it's supposed to work. No. Right? But in, in, the, in the Icona, the, it was like, yeah, we have, we have no, no problem. We can make it to Ghost Town and to the world's largest thermometer in one shot. No. We had like... And so it, when you started, it showed you the amount of reach or range you had. And the yeah, range was like, I can, go, I can I do can, the ghost town without can, any problem. Yeah. But on the way, you found out... Uh, okay. And the, the driving was conservative. Yeah. Right? We had it in eco pro yeah. mode or coasting on the highway. There's no, you know, Nevada's flat. <laughs> There's not a lot of hills. Yeah. Maybe there are some elevation yeah. changes, oh, yeah, yeah, but nothing, nothing, nothing significant. AC running? No. Ma- yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, the AC was running. Yeah. How, much had to, uh, how much is the range of the Icona anyway? Uh, 350 or 350. something? 350. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, the 315 but, WLPT range. So, cycles, so. so it said... Because it was in miles, because we were in America, so it yeah. said we had two hundred and ten left in the battery, okay. and it was one hundred and sixty to to the location. Okay. He had to stop, and I was like, I was like, come pick me up, Esteban. This is I'm not riding in this car anymore. I want to go to Ghost Town. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I left Michael, and I went to Ghost Town. Okay. Right. And so this made me realize that okay, well, a in any scenario. We should have been able to make that because there was no hills, really conservative driving, not driving like an asshole, and being like really range conscious, using the paddles to recruit, you know, like being the most EV driver you could imagine to yeah. be. And it's still, not we, making it. it's still not making it. So to me, the Icona with its, I think that it does a hybrid between like, yeah, I right? So I, I, I think it's still doing drive style, but... I think that it, however it was it was being used was not it's, it's, working. It's not that I'm against drive style mm-hmm. numbers. So when you switch it on, you get you get a drive style number. I think you can do both. You can switch it on, then you get your whatever normal numbers. But estimated range, you get a technical range, and you get an estimated range. Uh, it's not easy. It's not so so hard to show that you can you can. So this is the this is technical range, but this is on whatever. We estimated it on the weather, on um, because it's cold outside and you need the AC and you're driving like an idiot, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We estimate you're not doing 400 kilometers; you're doing 330. So I don't understand why. Okay, actually, the the major comments from our yeah. first video were 50-50. You know, I want to see how far yeah. I go. I want to see you know the expected range based on my drive style. Exactly 50-50. Yeah. The interesting, the most interesting comments for me were from EV drivers that were saying, you just know how far your car will go. Sure. And then when you're at all these EV stops, it's like a little club, right? And everyone's like chatting about their car and it's wonderful. Yeah. Right? Like this, this, this part about EV, yeah. I love, right? Yeah. And I thought that that was really great. But I don't understand why the car isn't able to tell you. <laughs> like, like, why do I just have to it's know? It's a software thing. Um, <clears throat> It should be easy because it's not even. I think it's two lines of code, or so to just put it in to say, okay, this is the estimated range. 
Um, and when I tell the Icona that this is my route, because yeah. like like Michael Fisher had planned it out. He had a whole Google yeah. Google map, right? And like he shared it with me. I'm like, sweet, I'll meet you. I'll, I'll meet you on your drive, right? And yeah. then I'll hop in on the places that I go. And then, you know, I'll have my yeah. experience without actually committing to being in an EV. <laughs> Goes down. <laughs> but even with the car knowing our route, it still couldn't tell us, hey, these are the stops that you should make. There was no, like, if, if, if I'm able to tell the navigation system yeah, but where I'm going, but if, but if, shouldn't it tell me where I should be stopping? Yeah, that, that's, that's bad software on the part of Hyundai then from, from that part. I think it should be, I, I think Tesla is, is, uh, is doing it in another way. It shows you also, it shows you the route, it calculates the route, and it calculates the route not in the quickest way. It shows you the route where you can find Charge. chargers on the way because it knows you won't make it. So I show you uh, a route where you have a charger here and a charger there, and you go there. And that may, may, makes way more sense. Now, I haven't driven the EQC. Um, but nobody has. Nobody has. <laughs> um, but with um, the, the fuel cell yeah. cars from, from, from Daimler, yeah. they have this built in. Yeah. Actually, their their routing and their recuperation. Yeah, you right. can actually choose the route right. that is most beneficial I, I, for I, the cells. I drove the car. Yeah, I drove the car in October, last October, and it it does also. Uh, yeah, it has this kind of calculation that shows you how far you can go. It was pretty accurate, mm -hmm. uh, and you have a lot of. You can also add a bit with recuperation, uh, which I tried to do, uh, which was not so easy. But, not so easy. Uh, but it's it's, it's doable. Um, so yeah, um, they do it. I think in, in the right way. Let's see how, how they do it with the EQC. But well, I th I think that they will if they've already shown it with the with the with the the fuel cells fuel, fuel cell car, yeah. that they're capable of doing it. Because yeah. with Audi, we weren't able to choose our own route. <laughs> no, uh, no. I mean, it, the it, route was pre-planned for us and already yeah. put into the system. Yeah, yeah, right. So I don't know whether or not on the e-tron they have this predictive routing. I think they, I think I heard they have it, but I don't, I, we haven't tried it out. But so we haven't tried it out. We, and it will take some time until we get the chance to try it out because I heard that they start delivering now in March or so. Mm. So if we get the test cars, we'll be like late summer or something like that to get one. Um, so we can try it again on, on, on our own. But um, yeah, still, I think, again, I mean, the range thing is, is, it's interesting, I think, also for, for companies because they have to decide how they show the customer how far the customer can go. As you were disappointed with the, with the Icona yeah. that you can't yeah. get to your ghost town. Michael really missed out on ghost town. It was great fun. <laughs> but uh, um, on the other hand, yeah, I mean, we talk about the Audi guys were like talking about that and they were like, we don't want have this kind of reaction from our customers and right. they get into the car and say hey I can make it to somewhere and then suddenly after an hour or so driving the car says no nah, you can't and this is like disappointing so to summarize the yeah. probably 250 comments um, between the podcast the video yeah. Twitter Facebook all the, all, all the places where I scanned but, but the link went out um, the summary is people want both <laughs> So they want to be able to put it into a learning mode yeah. where they can learn how to get the most out of their car. Exactly. Right. And they want to be able to do predicted drive style based on routing so that they know where they, where they, where, where they. So I think it should be to both. And I think why it's, why can't you do kind of gamification thing? So you learn, as you said, you learn while you drive and just, just make it fun. Thing also to say okay this is technical which you won't get there because your driving style is not appropriate for it yeah. uh, but you can if you learn and we show you whatever how to do it so uh, let's try to get as close as you can get to the to the technical reach and I think you can learn that in, in a kind of, of gaming situation I think people will have fun so that's our big takeaway from the big video that we did about the e-tron. Yeah. That was a short video. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the other the other big question from the e-tron was what actual range did we get? No, it was actually uh, almost the full range. I think. Yeah, three hundred fifty. So I, I calculated around three hundred fifty kilometers. We did as well technical four hundred and twelve or four hundred and eleven yeah. or so, and we did three hundred. 
50 with the AC on. So without the and we did some some drive through uh, sandy areas, uh, so that was also getting uh, draining the battery a bit. So I think it was we could have made 370, 375, something like that. But 350 was 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 the safe yeah. safe range. Yeah. All right, so that, that, that was also the other question. People were like, just get to the range. And I'm like, that was, that's a fair point. That's we, a fair point. <laughs> I just did that thing. We, uh, we... No, 350 it was, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can, you can do 350, yeah. Okay, so that was our second look, because I told people that I would send them a summary of, what, of, of the results of, of that first video, and I'm not sending anyone a summary. I made this video as a summary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. okay. So, if you have any more comments, go ahead. <laughs> go just ahead. Down there. We're ready. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is Don Dalman. This is Nicole Scott. And this is us for the Mobile Geeks Mobility Podcast. See you next time.